Hey there, everybody. This is Ira. We're back in Vintage Store. It's been a little while. Uh, during the holidays, I got some new games, and I kind of got caught up in just playing those, to be honest. So um, I haven't been in here for a while, and it does also seem like the next version, 1.12, is likely to come out fairly soon. Um, and so since I haven't really been in this world for a while, and I've kind of lost track and kind of kind of lost the the kind of uh, the momentum that I had, you know, uh, I've decided we're gonna do we're just gonna do one more video. I'm just gonna do one more video. Um, it's possible I might, I might kind of keep playing after I make the video, and, you know, get back into it, and then we'll keep going. But I don't want to promise that right now, as I'm just starting up right now. I have, uh, slaughtered some of the rabbits. Do feel bad about it, but, uh, decided to make a couple of pots of cooked food. So we're doing that, I'm gonna make some stew, I think this will work as a stew. These are the only vegetables that I have, <laughs> these mushrooms. And I've got some porridge here. Um, and I'm just gonna take my tools and stuff, and as I promised before, I'm gonna go south. And, uh, I'm gonna see if we can figure out, if I go south, is there a more deserty area which would be harder to survive in? Um, and then, just partly because I'm still just curious whether that's true, since that's what one of the developers said. And, uh, partly for the future. Since this challenge didn't really turn out to be much of a challenge after all, I would like to see if maybe that would work in the future, because I'm pr presumably in, uh, in 1.12, we will still be able to make these custom worlds and stuff, and I could still make myself a little, a little challenge run. So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I've got a bowl for food. That's good. I got my, all my tools. I will, like an intelligent person this time, I will pick up the chest and carry it rather than putting it on my back from the start, and I'll only put it on my back. If we need the extra space. I don't know why I had it on my back before. <laughs> I was just walking slow for no reason. Um, as soon as this is done, we're gonna head south. And I'm just gonna go and and we're gonna see what we find there, essentially. I'm gonna have my first serving of porridge. Mmm. Oh, uh, that's, that's pretty good porridge, actually. Excellent. Excellent! Okay. This is nearly done, uh, and then we'll head out. So off we go, time to set out, time to say goodbye to the homestead, <laughs> the incomplete homestead here. Oh god, I really am bad at building this game. I need to practice some more. I need to, I need to improve my skills. So right over here, over this ridge, we've immediately got some more grass, of course. And even a ruin over there, it looks like. I'm not gonna stop at the ruin for now. We have potentially a ways to go, right? I'm not sure how far south I'll have to go to get to an area that is really properly hot. Uh, especially considering the fact that we already went north a ways from the spawn area. So, I guess I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go, and I'll check in with you beautiful people the moment we find something interesting. Aside from that traitor. <laughs> I say, as I'm trying to say, I'll check in with you later, there's a traitor right there. Well, let's go see what they have. Let's go see what they have. I mean, I don't have any gears with me anyway. Can't do any trading, but... I do always like to stop and see what they have. See what- there's so many different types of traders. Hello? Greetings. Guild. Hello, guild. What you got? You got food! <laughs> there was a food supplier right here by my base all this time. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, and a whole bunch of stuff that I wouldn't be able to sell anyway. These wolf pups, the only way you can get them is to buy them from other traders. I need to make a mental note of this. Eleven gears. He will buy one for 11 gears. If I see one selling a wolf pup and see how much they sell it for, because I feel like every time I've checked, the price is either the same or they buy them for less than they're sold for, so you just make a loss every time. But we'll see. We'll see. Off we go. What? 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 This... We haven't even gone that far, folks. We haven't even gone that far. Look at these giant trees! What? What's, uh... There's a lot of grass over here. What's going on? Hey. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> um... Maybe we just haven't gone far enough? Oh my good... Oh my goodness! This is a huge! This is big, this is a bigger green area than anything I've found so far. Oh my oh my gosh. 
There's tons of trees here. This is... We, just, we got another oasis here? What? What? That's spawn. Right there. Um... And that's home. Um... Well... Look how many trees are over here. Okay. Okay. Well... I, I think the developer did say to go, like, a couple thousand blocks south. So maybe... Maybe this is just not far enough south. Um... Not what I expected to find. <laughs> if I... If I had gone south from spawn instead of north, I would have found this huge green area almost immediately. Okay. It's fine. It's fine, everyone. It's fine. We know this now. Uh, we'll just keep going. I'm gonna go, like, a ways, right? I'm gonna go a ways to the south. We're probably just still in this sort of temperate air. Oh my goodness, this... I said papyrus? I... It's reeds, folks. This is basically reeds. These are reeds. Papyrus, yeah. These are reeds. You remember I had my one? I had my one piece of papyrus that I have accidentally destroyed while I was trying to get the rabbits in the little hutch. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And we got- okay, we got more trees down here. We got, uh... How's acacia? Do I see acacia trees down there? I see the cur I see the curvy trunks. I see the curvy trunks go around the water. Or maybe there's- oh, hello! Excuse me. Don't mind me. Go run, run off to your parents. Um, tell them not to eat me, please. Okay. Everything's fine, you guys. Everything's fine. Yeah, that's acacia. That is acacia, for sure. Which probably means there's bees here. So, um... Oh, there's little puppies everywhere. I don't see their parents. Oh, no, there's, there's a parent right there. Now, they shouldn't attack me. Because I have it in passive mode, but sometimes I've found that they do anyway, so I'm gonna give them a little bit of space here. Okay. Oh my- are you kidding me? There's a whole- there's a whole acacia forest down here. There's another trader. Spectacular. Let's go see what they're selling. <laughs> Let's go see what they're selling, why not? This is- are we almost at the end of this? Come on. Oh my gosh! This is insane! I... I don't even know, there's tons of clay. This is a perfectly playable area, this isn't even a challenge anymore. Excuse me, excuse me. Hey, get over here, excuse, excuse me. Bedweer, what you sell? You sell clothes, I don't care. I don't have anyone to impress. <laughs> Who am I gonna impress with my clothes, you? Come on. All right. I'm gonna keep going south. We'll get out of this green area. Hopefully I'm back to the desert. I guess right at right at uh, the kind of spawn latitude, this area really does seem to have a lot of greenery. Man. Maybe maybe I really, I really would for a challenge, a real challenge, maybe I really would need to, to set the, the world to be just a... Because if I, if I set it any more hot and arid, I did test this. I did play around with this a lot while I was playing before. Um, and it just became full desert. Which is a good challenge, but then it meant that it wasn't possible to get clay. Except for in loot vessels. And I, I wanted it to be... Basically, the ideal would have been an area which is mostly desert, but if you look long enough, you'll find a little oasis. Where you can find a little bit of clay. And you can set up a little farm. Uh, here we go. Okay, now we're back. Let's just check them. Okay, we're back in the desert. Still a lot of trees. Southward ho! We're gonna keep going south. Um, see if we can find the kind of area I had hoped for. Oh, this is gonna get, this is gonna get tricky. And the sun is setting. Brilliant. So, checking in. We've gone a couple thousand blocks south now. And, uh, it does seem to be a bit more deserty. Now we're getting down here. Uh, if we check the map, there's still bits of green on a pretty regular basis. So, oh, what's all this? It might be chalk or something. Let's, go let's see if we can get up there and take a peek. One thing I wish I had brought with me is more blocks, like... Blocks that, uh... 
don't aren't affected by gravity. I ha I have set uh I have set dirt to be affected by gravity, so can't use these dirt blocks to uh oh, that is that is chalk, isn't it? It is, it's chalk. Look at that. Well, I don't know if I'm going to keep playing here or not, but white <laughs> make it red. Follow the conventions, Ira. It's chalk. Um, yeah, but I'm still seeing I'm still seeing enough green that it still wouldn't be that challenging. So I'm going to continue south. I think the developer in the comment that they left they originally said like go six to eight blocks south, six to eight thousand blocks south. Sorry, and uh, you should you should have a much more challenging area. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on going. I got plenty of food. I'm gonna keep on keep on keeping on. Well, folks, I'm coming up on uh, about minus 4,000 here. It's been a little bit slow going because we got some difficult terrain going on. Uh, but I haven't really seen any grassy areas for the past, I want to say, like, 1,000 blocks or so. So I'm feeling like maybe this is kind of the ideal area with the with these world settings to... <sighs> really? Oh, my God! What? You've got to be kidding me. We. I gotta go see this. I, I literally. It's been like a thousand blocks. I haven't seen any grass. And I thought if you teleport right here, you, you might have at least a thousand blocks to walk before you find an oasis. And look at. Are you kidding me? This is. This is just as massive as the other one. We've got the giant oak trees. Uh, we've got these uh, termite nest things, which I do believe indicates that hyenas can live here, which would be meat and leather. Um, do we have any clay? Probably. I mean, there's probably clay around here somewhere. We've got this. Like, there's a whole forest here. And there's some berry bushes right there. We got a trader. <laughs> Conveniently located trader. Yeah, there's plenty of uh, clay. It's even fire clay. We got ruins around. I've seen tons of ruins, by the way. Everywhere I go, tons of ruins. We, oh my gosh, this is a better area than the area that I've found. There's there's vegetables growing right here. Here we go. We get some carrots. What kind of vendor we got? If this is a food vendor, I'm gonna lose it. Hey, Sasha, building materials. Okay, that's fine. You're useless. Great. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay, still not far enough, I guess. <laughs> this is insane. There's butterflies everywhere. All right, all right. No, this is this is fine. This is great. I'm gonna keep going south. <laughs> gonna keep going south. Another couple thousand blocks or so, I suppose. I guess. I guess so. Oh man. I'll tell you what, though, there was quite a ways in between these really big areas like this. These big green areas, uh, like these, these oases. So actually, you know, maybe maybe it's not so bad. Maybe if you, if you got it just right with the starting location, like if you teleported yourself to like minus 3,000 right at the start, you would have a bit of a walk to find a big oasis. Uh, on the other hand, plenty of cactus fruit in the desert. Plenty of cactus fruit. Everywhere I've gone, I've seen tons of cactus fruit. I haven't felt at any point... Oh, there's so much green. I haven't felt at any point like I would be in danger of starving. I mean, I, I do have the hunger rate reduced, so maybe I would say don't... If you're gonna try this, we're figuring this out. Oh, there's green stone up there. Is that peridotite? It is. I'm gonna go up and look at it. Um, yeah, it's probably like a... Oh, wait, is that? Okay, let's keep going south. Anyway, focus, Ira. Focus up. Come on, I need you to focus up a little bit. Um, my recommendations so far. If you're going to do a desert challenge like I was trying to do, but you want to have a world with the settings that I had so that you can find areas that have clay and stuff like that, um, probably don't reduce the hunger rate. I really thought that it was going to be hard to find enough food and that I was going to continually starve, and I was wrong. I actually had more trouble finding food in the high humidity sort of jungle world that I made. That was actually the more difficult world in terms of finding enough food and staying alive. Because there, look, there's a cactus fruit right there. There's tons of cactus fruit around. I know they don't give you a lot of nutrition, but since there's so many of them, 
If you just keep walking, and there's we got a we got a hyena. If you just keep walking, you're gonna you're gonna find enough to keep yourself going. I think. Um. Probably teleport right off the bat. I would say set creative mode first. Teleport yourself like 3,000 blocks south or something. Uh, and then high up enough in the air because there's a lot of mountains around. You don't want to teleport yourself into the middle of a mountain. So teleport yourself high up in the air in creative mode so when you fall and go boom, you don't die immediately. And then set yourself back to uh, survival mode. Look at all the different colors of sand. I love it. Oh, man. I haven't played this game in like two weeks, three weeks. Get right back into it. The next update, by the way, the next update, the uh, 1.12, is going to have weather. I think that's the main focus, is weather. Now, I have mixed feelings about this. On the one hand, from a survival standpoint, it makes sense to have weather. Oh, there's the green stone. I love this green stone so much. Can you make bricks from the green stone's peridotite, right? Peridot. You can! <gasps> oh! The green and the black together as well, that's that's a really nice combination. I know I'm probably never gonna come back here, but let's just... Peridotite, right? Did I spell that right? Peridotite, yes. Cool. Um, I got distracted again! I got distracted by shinies again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um... Yeah, weather. I was talking about weather. Uh, mixed feelings about weather because I want seasons. I do want seasons. I want it to get. I want it to get cold and snowy. I want there to be a period of time where you can't grow food. It's an extra challenge. Remember, I, I like most of my challenge to be about exploration and survival, not in the sense of combat. I don't like combat, but in the sense of finding enough food and stuff, and building shelter and whatnot. And so from that sense, adding weather, which is the first step towards adding seasons. Seasons was going to be the next update, I guess. Uh, but then they decided to focus on making the weather real good first. And I've seen the previews of it. There's a, there's some videos out. If you go on the Vintage Store website and click on the news, news or blog or whatever it is at the top, you'll, you'll see the, the latest updates. Um, and I saw a video, and the rain looks pretty cool. There's hail, there's going to be snow, there's going to be all kinds of stuff. It's going to be dependent on biomes. Um, and that is awesome. On the other hand, uh... It's also really ugly. Like, I I get I, I like to skip the night as much as possible in games like this. I don't I want to play. I like saturated colors and bright light. I especially now it's winter time. I'm in the northern hemisphere and it is winter time and it is very dark and I need brightness. I'm very sensitive to that sort of thing. So having long nights or having you know gray cloudy days and rain and stuff like that is probably gonna kind of bum me out. So I'm going to have to think about how I'm going to approach that. Because, I mean, like, the the rain is going to put out your fires and stuff. It's, it's a pretty cool mechanic, I would say. It, it seems like they're doing a pretty good, a pretty solid job of that. Um, I'm just worried that it's going to bum me out, frankly, and that I'm not going to want to keep playing, or that I'm going to end up cheating in order to clear the weather. Or uh, feeling like I can only set up in desert biomes, for example, where there's there's not going to be the rain and the clouds so much. I don't know. We'll we'll see how it goes. It's not out yet. Um, but that is on the way, and I will certainly be playing that. Certainly. So, what are we doing here? Let's take a quick. <laughs> I could not have planned this more. Hilariously, my friends, I swear to God. Ah, uh, every time. Every time I think, alright, now we're getting into the real dry area. Every single time. I need some porridge. There wasn't much porridge left, it's fine. Let's come up here, let's take a look at this one. Let's see how big it is. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I guess, I guess I haven't set the world to be hot and dry enough after all, right? I guess that's the lesson here. I could fiddle around and see if I could set it hotter slash drier, but every time I've tried doing that, it's even got the giant trees! Oh my god. Do you know how much rain a tree needs to get that big? Completely ridiculous. It's, it's massive. Oh, it's got a big ruin over here too. This is such a nice area. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I do think. 
Um, having a world like this, where you do have these big green areas, but they're far apart, they are far apart, could make for a good, like, really big multiplayer server. Where people have to kind of set out and find a big oasis -y area. And then they can set up shop there. And then you kind of have to travel a ways to visit each other. It just feels like it would be cool. It would be better if we had some way to travel faster, though, of course. If we had some kind of horses or some kind of carts or something. I do think those are planned eventually. They're definitely not in yet, and I don't think they're coming anytime soon. How big is this area? It's huge! Folks, we're almost we're almost at, at 6,000. I think I was saying minus before. I was wrong. It's positive. 6,000. Uh, which I believe is where, where the developer said we would find more, more deserty areas. I think he was wrong. I think, uh... I think this world just doesn't have it. I don't know, this hair? Look at this! Wide open plains. Wide open plains. Forests. Lots of termites. Lots of termites. Wow. And it's beautiful. Of course it's beautiful. It's Vintage Story. Vintage Story is always beautiful. Unbelievable. See hyenas down there. Goodness gracious. Um, I guess maybe that's, that's kind of confirmation then. That this world isn't going to have any truly challenging areas. Because if you walk a thousand blocks in any direction, it seems like you come across a huge green area. I mean, this is one of the biggest ones I've found yet. And it just, it just keeps going as well. Holy. Well, well, it's not a challenge world after all. It is still a beautiful world. It is still a nice world. Wow, 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 wow. So many trees. Hello. <laughs> Amazing. I love the acacia wood, by the way. I love it in Minecraft, too. I hear everybody say that it's this ugly color, but. I really like that orange color. It's the only one that actually has color. All the rest of them are like faded and desaturated. And I guess that's a personal preference thing. I really, I prefer very saturated colors. I don't like desaturated colors for most things because they're depressing and I don't want to be depressed. All right, I'm going to take one more, one more little, little jog here. I'm going to go as far as 8,000. Maybe I'll go as far as 10,000. And we'll just check in and see if there's any change. And then I'll probably call this episode done. We got our answer to our question, I guess. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, there's puppies everywhere. Um, I haven't got that far. <laughs> this green area just keeps going, but look at this! We've got slate here. That's gotta be chalk, that brilliant white. Slate next to chalk. All right, black and white love the contrast. Tons of chalk right here, and we also got the green. This might be my favorite spot that we found. I may not, I may not have found super challenging proper desert area, but um, wow, look at that! Look at that! There's so much of it. I feel silly for bookmarking that other spot before. Hold on. Oh wow! There's a whole biome here. Look at this. Oh, this is a beautiful little spot. This is a beautiful little spot. This would make such a nice base. I gotta... Let's just make a white... Um, or maybe a blue. Blue. Beautiful contrast spot. So much contrast to the colors. Wow. Possibly, possibly my favorite spot on the map. Love it. Love it. This game. People. This game. The white of the chalk is just so brilliant and bright. It looks like snow. <laughs> Doesn't that look like a snowy landscape? Bananas. I do take this as a personal insult from the game, by the way, that every single time I've ever needed chalk, I have gone thousands and thousands and thousands of blocks in every direction and never find it. 
And here is a massive chalk desert, just taunting me because I don't need it. Well, night has fallen, and uh, we're coming up on 8,000, and I, I, I think you could probably predict <laughs> what kind of area we're at here. Oh, he's had a little bit of a frame drop, a little bit of lag. It's okay, everything's fine. Um, so we've got, we've got a big green area again. Let's see how big it is. What? Oh my goodness. Oh, hold on. I gotta, that's at the top of that hill. We gotta get up there. I gotta get up there and see this. That's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool, folks. Let's get up there. Might take a minute. Got this ring of sand, and of course, it's the green sand. Beautiful green sand. Jade desert here. We've got some sleeping animals. Um, it's like a plateau up here with, like, grass on it? This is actually another really beautiful area. I wish it was daytime. We could see it in the in the proper daylight. But we can't, because it's night. See what I'm talking about? I don't like night. I don't like darkness. <laughs> I want it to be bright and beautiful and colorful all the time. But I don't get what I want sometimes. And that's just the way life is, I suppose. Head up this way. Just use a little bit of this soil get up. There we go. It's not too steep right here. Here we go, here we go. I haven't slept in days. It's not the best. I don't want to sleep though, because my food's gonna spoil if it's not spoiling already. Made too much, I made too much, uh, made too much food. Well, good for a couple more days. Oh, oh no. There we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow, yeah, it is! Little jerks, stay away from me, please. There's a whole forest up here! There's a whole forest up here. Um. I suppose if I go to sleep right now, it's probably not gonna be enough to get me to morning, huh? Let's give it a try. Nope, it wasn't. We're closer though, right? We're closer. Ah, uh, we guess you still got a little while. Still got a little while. I really want to be able to see this in the proper daylight. I'm tempted to just uh, use some some cheat commands. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do that. If you're mad at me about this, folks, uh, three hours. There we go. If you're mad at me about this, I I don't care. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> I need to see this. Okay, so the coloring of the, the soil is very sort of brownish. It's not actually like a vivid green landscape or anything. But we've got, we've got a little maple forest up here. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is, this is truly bananas. In, in the very realist sense. Insanely bananas. Oh my. And it's a really, and it's a really big area. Folks, for the sake of uh, enjoying this landscape, I'm gonna jump into creative mode. Oh, hold on. Do not, do not like this. You hit the uh, tilde key, top left key to the left of a one on most keyboards. You can open up this little menu in creative mode, access lock Y, and then you get Minecraft flight. So you can actually look down while you're flying without plummeting. Um, this is gorgeous though. But this is gorgeous though. Look at this. The things this game creates, honestly. Wow. We've got all the trees down there. And then we have another valley over here. That's what I saw on the map. Oh, wow! Man, this may not have been what I set out to find, but this is a really lovely thing to find. Every new place like this that I find, I'm like, okay, this is where I would build, though. Wow. Just wow. I have I have no words. <laughs> Not what I expected. I got these I like these two little rivers right here. Little streams coming out of the mountainside and then going down into the little, little holes there. Beautiful. There's so many nice shots here for like taking pictures. And I do see I do see uh 
Oh no, that's bones. I thought I saw plants. Crops. There probably are some, to be fair. Is that bones? It is. Interesting. Look at this place. We get some reeds there. And again, when we have these uh, dry acacia areas, I do expect to find bees as well. Which is pretty much, it's pretty much all you need. There's some crops there. Well, it's beautiful. Alright, anyway. Um, I'm actually just going to stay in creative. I'm not in any danger of not surviving. And flying is faster than walking. So, last part of this video, I'm just going to jump. I'm going to quickly go... <laughs> Amazing. So much green. Uh, I'm going to quickly go another 2,000 blocks south to, to 10,000. Just a nice, even round 10,000. Uh, we, we humans, we like thinking in base 10. We find it comfortable because that's how many fingers and toes we get. Look at this. How did this hyena get up here? Excuse me. Excuse me, how'd you get up here? <laughs> this defies all logic. There's no way for you to be up here. Oh, man. Well, good luck. Yipes. Alright, I'm gonna go quickly to, uh, to 10,000. Just see what we got there. If there's another giant oasis there, I'm just gonna lose it. And here we are, 10,000 blocks. This is probably the furthest I've ever traveled in this game. We've got more desert here. And of course, we've got more green over there. There's no escape in it. This is a green world. This is a surprisingly green world for uh, the settings that I set for it. So um, I suppose that's, that's confirmation then. Uh, as a challenge world, not as challenging as I had hoped. It's probably not possible in the game with the settings that exist to make a world exactly the way that uh, that I had hoped to make it. But this, I mean, it's still beautiful and it can still be fun. Um, if you're going to try to do a desert challenge, don't set your hunger rating any lower than normal. Because uh, I think you'll, you'll be able to find enough food. I really do. Um, I think probably if you want a real challenge where it's genuinely difficult to find enough food... Make a wet world. Make a hot, wet world. I made a world like that, again, mostly just because I wanted the more vivid uh, grass color that you get when there's a higher humidity. And I I did take damage from starvation a few times, and then I managed to find enough food to not die from it. But it was a genuine challenge, a lot more than this one was. Also, probably uh, my guess, and I haven't tried it yet, but my guess for the greatest challenge would be a frozen world. Because that would be extremely difficult to find anything that you need. Um, so I'll, I'll think about what kind of world to do when the 1.12 update comes out. I will definitely be playing that one. Uh, playing around with the weather. And I'll probably try another challenge. And we'll see what kind of challenge I come up with. If you have any suggestions, you can leave them in the comments. But in the end, I'll, 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 I'll think it over and I'll make a decision. Um, and that'll be, that'll be fun, I think. So... Up here in the air, we'll do a, a flying goodbye this time. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. I have been playing for well over an hour, and editing this is probably going to take me hours. But that's okay. It's okay. We learned a lot. I got to see some really beautiful spots that I would not otherwise have found, and that was fun. So thanks for joining me, my friends. Thanks for watching this Vintage Story series. This is probably the end of the series, uh, but there will be more in the future. VintageStory.at is the website for this game. It is constantly being updated, and uh, new and exciting things are happening. So check it out, and I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Now this is a story all about how I made a desert world and it wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be.